It's a yeah. Dollywood favorite that's been cooked in their giant signature skillets for more than tw 25 years. It's amazing. And here to show us how to do it is the executive chef of Dollywood, Jonathan Fry. And Woo! he's so good. Yay, Jonathan. I love it. Hang on. I just, what? I, Jonathan, I'm a, I'm a confident man, but I have skillet envy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. I mean, this thing is, where do you find something like yeah. this? Well, to be honest with you, we couldn't find anything like this. We had to have this special made. This wow. is a 60-inch diameter skillet just to feed the folks that we have come to Dollywood every year. We had to make sure we had the biggest skillet we could find. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so we had a special one made just for us. Now, I, don't know what, I don't know if that's so or not. We've got one up at the old Tennessee Mountain Home. Mama fried potatoes in a skillet about that big. <laughs> really? That's amazing. <laughs> it seemed like it, it seemed like she it. had to feed 12 kids, so it looked like it. So that would work. I wish Mama had that. Yeah, we should feed a few kids. <laughs> if it were a little deeper, it could also be your tub. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that's just, true. Yeah. Oh, and a table. As well, yep. our family shows up. Yeah, well, they're always yeah. over yeah. by the food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so what, you what do you love about this skillet the most, Dolly? Oh, because well, yeah. it's big. Yeah, it's okay. About the dish, though, the dish. Oh, about the, the dish. dish. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought you said that. Well, because I love taters, potatoes. Yeah. And, of course, I love sausage, and I love, you know, I love all the stuff that they're yeah. putting in here. I mean, these are some of my favorite things to eat. Yeah. So well, I love that. It's a, it's a popular dish across the park. It's probably one of our one of our favorites. We do have, we also serve a sausage sandwich without the potatoes in a bun with a, some uh, uh, cheddar cheese sauce on top oh. as well. And those, this, oh. Pardon me? I was just going to say the sausage is also good on a low carb diet. You don't have to eat the taters. That's right. Yeah. Vegetables and that. I do that sometimes. Let that me check so something yeah. real quick. Anybody on a low carb diet? No, no, no. 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 So, no. so what's the key to making this dish, Jonathan? Uh, well, the big key here is, is that you want to get everything together. Um, one big, the reason we have this one big skillet is because you want all the flavors to meld well together. There's a lot, even though this is a smoked sausage, there's a lot of fat left in there. You want to let that reduce out, kind of let it render out and get into the vegetables, get into yeah. the potatoes and just get all those flavors working well, well I together. I said, let's get into let's cooking. Let's start cooking. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. I need that sausage first. I got you. It's heavy now. Be careful. Don't drop any. 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 This is a sausage. Now, don't eat it. He's got to cook it first. Okay, deal. And and uh, and just so y'all know, this this is uh this is for our size, but you can definitely go a little bit smaller than this at home. This is about 30 <laughs> to 40 pounds of sausage. Wow. wow. Look, at Look at that. Look at that. I love that sound. That sound. And uh, that sound. after that, normally what we do is you would uh, you put the potatoes on first. We went ahead and par cooked ours a little bit. Uh, just so that we can be a little bit quicker, but normally you'd put the taters on first. This normally takes about 45 minutes to properly crisp up. So we've got ours started here. I'll take this one. Matt, if you'll get the other one. Matt, Absolutely. Thank you. If you don't care, nice. help me dump in. Promise. I <laughs> so far. One, two, I'm two. Yeah. Yeah. We've got dump and dump yeah. <laughs> You yeah. be dump, I'll be uh, dumping. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, and lastly, ask you we're going to do the peppers and onions. Now, I use red and red and green because to me that just looks really pretty. It but you does. can put any color that you want in there. Yep. Just make sure it's something you enjoy. Oh, wow. I wish you guys Woo. could well, that's going to be enough for them. Look how colorful that is. Look at that. Now, how do now, you mix it up? Now, the best part of all this works? is that you get to act like <laughs> that, you're, <laughs> that you're on a canoe trip and you get to stir it with these special, real, you know, Paddles, we had special. No, I'm just kidding. These are oars. Oh <laughs> See, mom would have done well with wow. those paddles, too. That's right. That, keep that's us right. Out of the food. Now, do you cook for Dolly? Do, do, you, do you do any? I, I do. Uh, whenever she comes into town, I get the honor of uh, bringing Miss Dolly some meals. And he does um, great, too. Yeah. Uh, we, we do anything from meatloaf and mashed potatoes to fried chicken. Always so sweet whenever we bring the meals to her. I uh, never, right. never have to leave without a hug and a yeah. thank you. Uh, and she never leaves without ribs either. That's that's oh, one of the favorite meals here. Ribs so he cooks great. for Dolly, and she actually just hired me. I eat for Dolly. Yeah. So this is fantastic. <laughs> it's a good combo. Well, with this much food, she's going to need some help. Uh, how many people is this going to feed? Uh, well, yeah. we, how many we got? Look, we got well, we either got. either this panel of folks here, or we feed quite a few people at Dollywood throughout the year. So. This can feed uh, about 200 people probably if you really want oh, this, yeah. this one pan mm -hmm. can feed 200, it, wow. What we do here is normally about a six ounce portion of it. And 
And that's that's quite hearty with all the potatoes and the and sausage is, in there. Is it served just on its own with a fork and a knife, or does yeah, it put we, on a bun? Or? No, we do we do have that sausage sandwich that we put on the bun, but oh. we leave the sausage whole. We do the peppers and onions oh. on an Italian roll and cheddar cheese sauce. But whenever we do it this way, it is literally just put into a bowl. We give you a fork and let you go to town. All right. I yeah, I'm trying to, trying well, we don't have to do that because we actually have a finished dish. Yeah. We're going to bring out. Can we bring that out? I can stir. Christine, I'm out back. I know. Yeah, 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 you can keep we stirring. See how we've that got, feels. There we go. Look at this. Oh, oh this looks great. <laughs> Thanks so very much. It's been a lot easier. Oh, who wants to be Mark's friend? Yeah.